He's unbelievable. Hall of Famer in every way. Thank you, David. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Green in at the pivot, manning the middle. And for the Mavericks, we've got Doncic. Green is out there with P.J. Washington. Then there's Irving. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Now, here's Doncic. Playing Memphis, he was nearly unstoppable. And on the way from Irving for three. Good! Great play by Green to set it up. Injuries, though, are an obstacle the Warriors, RJ, have met head on. Yeah, it's impressive how they've overcome those hurdles, insisting on still playing their best basketball, even when they're shorthanded. And they've had a chance to develop some younger players when the older guys, the established players, were out. Got to use these opportunities because five minutes can go to ten, just like ten minutes can go to zero. Well said. Now here's Green, following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga. Doncic, no good. Gafford against Green, outside Curry. The dish to Kaminga. Shoots over Washington. Drilled from 11 feet out. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Outside Green, back to Irving. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. Doncic against Curry. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Wiggins against Green. And it's Wiggins missing. That's just the bucket oh, that you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss them. Nobody near Irving. Hits it from three-point range. Irving's got a couple of threes now in the first for Dallas. Curry against Doncic. Dives for it. And here is Curry. Playing Houston, he was nearly unstoppable. Just five to shoot. Thompson for the triple. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Let me just say this. Clay Thompson is one of about ten people in NBA history that you do not want to leave open for a three. The defense has to make it harder for him out there. Inside. And Green slams it in. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Outside Irving. Green with the ball. He averages about uh, five points a game. Now Washington. Pass to Irving from downtown. It's rebounded by Kaminga. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Wiggins. Can't hit the step back jump shot. Dallas has gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Curry. Releases from 15. Here's Kaminga. Nice D from Doncic. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They trail by one. Raymond Green pulls it in. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. You know, as the regular season break winds down, you can feel things start to change around the league, can't you? Yeah, I mean, some teams are getting totally in the zone for the playoffs, while other squads are using this time to plan for next year and try to figure out what went wrong.
and he makes the first. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. Hardy, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. He makes one of two that time. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role player. And that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you can see them look a lot like the Harden era Rockets. And here is Curry following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Wiggins finds Thompson. Gafford against Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. You love how physical Green is willing to get. Enduring the foul and finding the bottom of the bucket. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve. But he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. vocal leader both on and off the floor. Green plays with a real fire in edge. Passes it to Hardy. It's up a three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Their last encounter was in San Francisco. Well, last time out, they got the win in large part because of the play of their bench, and they provided a lot of the scoring punch. And you can tell how important having depth is for them. Sometimes it's the difference between a win and a loss. Here's Washington following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. Washington, that's good. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Curry kicks to Thompson. Dishes it to Kaminga. Over Washington. It's rebounded by Dallas. Got to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. And you talk to coaches around the league, and they'll tell you sometimes the ball just goes in. It's as simple as that. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. First foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's Gafford. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Six on the shot clock. Hardy passes to Irving. A solid defender. Thompson has a lot of experience guarding the league's top perimeter players. Curry finds Wiggins. Curry against Green. They get the rebound. Green misses in close. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Irving. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. And, and Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. Looney's checked in for Golden State. That 
one drops. He ties it up. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Curry kicks to Thompson. Got a piece of it. Back to Curry. Let's the three fly. Hands it from downtown. Curry. The minute that Steph Curry steps into an arena, he is in his range. Hardy passes to Irving. Outside Green. The pass to Hardy. Pass to Washington. Over Looney. And that one hits back iron. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Thompson against Irving. Shot from free throw range. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Now it's a five-point warrior lead. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Gafford finds Green. Now here's Hardy. Guarded by Kirk. And stolen by Wiggins. Green with the rebound. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slot, even for him. Now, here's Hardy. He had 13 points in the win against Memphis. Back to Green. Nailed from three-point land. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense, shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. And a chance here to check out some stamps for Clay Thompson. Out to the right wing. Knocks it loose. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Irving passes to Hardy. And it's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Warriors leading by four. Thompson inside the line. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hardy. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got five rebounds tonight. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. Shot clock at six. The 11-footer. The shot, no good. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Now, here's Hardy. Defense is right there. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Third team foul. What do you guys think so far about the offensive the approach for Dallas. the Warriors? Daniel Gafford taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Gafford. That one misses. Well, RJ, you played against Draymond Green. 
Do you agree with him when he calls himself the best defender in NBA history? No, of course not. He's not the best, but he's worked his way near the top. I'll give my guy that. And look, he's a defensive player of the year, and he has been in consideration multiple other years. It's his versatility that gives him such a boost on that other end of the floor. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Now here's Green. Pass to Hardy. Yep, that yeah, one goes. Hardy. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. Here's Paul. Boy, that win against the Rockets is another guy who really showed up to play. Looney kicks to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. And the three ball is good. Five points in the game. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Outside Irving. Now, here's Washington. He's another guy who had a stellar performance in the win against Memphis. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And it's Paul with the ball for Golden State. One fourteen left to play here in the first. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Gafford. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Warriors lead him. Here's Thompson. Fades back. And he can't bank that one in. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Washington passes to Hardy. Oh, the officials are all over that point. The Mavericks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And they've shot the ball well this season in terms of their attempts. 81%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Tied up with that one. Golden State's gone three or four on three corners in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Thompson finds Paul. And here's Looney. A three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Washington's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Irving. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Irving's got 13 points. This is just one of those blow-up nights for Kyrie. So lethal when he's feeling his best. From 12 feet out. And Thompson gets Play it to go. Thompson. Thompson's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for Dallas. He put together quite a quarter. 13 points in all. basketball fans it's Latin night here on 2k sports and you might have noticed the custom jerseys worn by the players and guys what's your take on the Mavericks so far yeah in that first period they look to push in transition at every opportunity it leads to some easy buckets and I think it's given them control of the pace in this one Golden State's gone three or five from beyond the arc so far tonight Washington out there with Daniel Gaffer and it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Doncic in at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Dallas has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Washington with it. He's picked up by Paul. Washington kicks to Hardaway. 
Green with the rebound. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what, because the defense can't really take credit for that miss. Paul outside. Thompson outside from outside the arc. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Thompson's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Warriors. Doncic feeling it out. He kicks to Irving. Back to Doncic. Just five on the clock. From deep. No good on that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. The bench production was huge, no doubt. A testament to how well prepared this coaching staff is for these tough road games. Slammed down by Doncic. A monster in the backcourt at 6-7. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Now Thompson lets it go from deep. Again, the miss by Thompson. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. And it's Washington missing. The Warriors have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Curry against Hardaway. Curry passes to Kaminga. Basket good. Six points for Jonathan Kaminga. That's a fantastic decision by Curry. Defense too focused in on Steph. Doncic outside. Gafford kicks to Hardaway. The kick out to Irving. From deep three-point range, and the foul on Daniel Gafford. Daniel Gafford. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Warriors leading by three. And here is Paul. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Green up on top. Covered by Gaffer. Out to Thompson. Here's the three. That one doesn't go. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Here's Irving. Misses off the right iron. Warriors have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Now, here's Kaminga, guarded by Doncic. Here's the teardrop, and it's Play. laid up and in by Thompson. And it's a five-point Warrior lead. What touch from Thompson on the floater. That's just such a tough shot. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Gafford with the ball. Eight points his last outing. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Richard, so much of today's NBA defense is about covering the pick and roll. And as a player, is that something you enjoy, taking on that challenge of covering the screen roll game? You only enjoy that challenge because you are a competitor and you want to win. Is it something Shoot that I'm two. doing on my own? Is it something that I'm doing in my spare time? Probably not. I can think of more fun things to do. Exactly. It is not. And there are so many variations right of the screen roll that you can defend it as many ways as you can run it. And these players are so talented that they can stop and pop from three. You have to guard them at the half court line before you could guard them at the three point line. Now you got to meet them at half court and their screens all over the place. It's miserable. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Back 
passes it to Thompson. Lock at six. On the wing, Green. Shoots over Gafford. And the rejection by Gafford. Feeds to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. And it's blocked. Warriors leading by three. Curry on the wing. And there's the pass to Thompson. Back to Kaminga. Let's it go with a three. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Curry gets the bucket. This is Pete Curry shooting with real confidence off the catch. It's what helps get him going. Pass to Washington. He dishes it to Hardaway. A good-looking shot from the wing. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Hardaway with the steal. Doncic right side. And he gets the bucket. Doncic has got four points this quarter. And that's the way to close. Once Doncic has this type of look, game over. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Thompson. And so confident. Even amongst the trees, Doncic is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. This is his first free throw of the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense, but he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run it. Dwight Powell's checked in for Dallas. The Warriors also with a sub. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Klay Thompson. That one drops. He ties it up. A, a generational talent. Doncic able to carry a team and make others around him better. Pass to Curry for three. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Curry. Curry's got nine. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Timeout, and timeout. it'll be the Mavericks with their first timeout here of the game. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Finds Hardaway. They grab their own miss. Oh, one up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Wiggins passes to Paul. Six to shoot. No good there. Ice tea from Doncic. Dallas has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. And they double up Doncic. And then Washington with the dunk. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Green picks to Wiggins. By Paul, nobody around. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Anjic passes to Pop. Back 
to Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Passes to Curry. Golden State moving it around. Green kicks to Paul. Paul missing again. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Washington tried to break free. Powell, that's good. Now it's a three-point Dallas lead. He saw a path to the rim, and he took it. The defense just couldn't stop him. Irving against Kirk. Back to Paul. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Green, he's checked in for Dallas. Mavericks leading by three. Greg, they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's the pass to Wiggins. Off target from three-point range. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, that's it right now. He's just in his own head. Not good. much you can do to try and push through it. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with it. That's his first personal. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league. And so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Warriors trailed by eight. Time out call for Warriors. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Outside Curry kicks it to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. The offensive rebound. Curry on the wing. To halt the run. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Howell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Kaminga. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a score. Green against Wiggins. 14 feet away. And it's Green. Missing. Warriors trailed by five. Fades and shoots. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Washington. Over Paul. Washington, that's good. Washington's got his third bucket of the night. He's had a rough start to this game, and that's being nice. But he's gotten back on track here in the second. Three finds Paul. Back to Curry. The three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Curry. Curry's got 12. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. 
Pass to Green. Back to Doncic. Pass to Pop. The Warriors pull it in. Here's Kaminga. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at Green. the free throw line. First personal foul. First team. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Performed well State. thus far this season with a 78% clip. Taking two shots. He's off on the first. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardy's checked in. And the second free throw, good. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Doncic passes to Green. Back to Doncic. Fades. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Well, Luca has options all over the floor. He's a versatile shooter who can utilize the mid-range. Oh, and it's sent back by Washington. The dish to Doncic. A three-pointer, no good. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Mavericks lead by five. And now we'll send it over to David. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. They were able to take control in the second quarter and finish the half ahead by five. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? It's been an aggressive approach to them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. Jack, what are your thoughts on Golden State? What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. Second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box out, battling for position. They own the offensive boards. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a quick one as both teams try to gain an edge. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. It's a five-point game, so with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Jonathan Kaminga out there at Draymond Green, and it's Curry in at the point guard position. Maverick shooting for the game at 42%. Irving for three. Score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. Look, he is a 50, 40, 90 guy, right around 40% from the three-point line. Kyrie deserves more respect for his deep game. Curry dishes to Green. Outside Curry. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Dallas making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. 
Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And he makes that one. Curry's got 14 points. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up and nails the shot with ease. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Back to Irving. Outside, green. Bucket two. Going inside. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Yeah, such a creative playmaker. Love seeing Irving find the open teammate and make the right pass. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Higgins outside. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. In the corner, Irving with it. Over Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. Nice aggressive defense from Thompson. Getting all over the shot and knocking it away. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. Green the pass to Gaffer. To the middle. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. And good that time. Green's got the lead up to 10 now for the man. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Wiggins with the bounce pass. And the pass to Curry. Golden State moving it around. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Doncic kicks to Irving. Back to Doncic. Shoots over Curry. Doncic, no good. Warriors trailed by seven. Thompson surveying the floor. To the paint. Here's Green. And Green slams it in. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. The Mavericks have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Outside, Green. Pass to Gaffer. Down low, here's Irving in for his seventh make in 14 tries. So smooth around the rim. I love how Kyrie just goes up with confidence knowing that he's going to figure it out. Wiggins kicks to Curry. A three ball. A shot off that time. Now Dallas takes it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Doncic. Launches a three. The shot, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Well, after the show he put on in the first half, you thought it would continue, but he's cooled off a little bit here now. Connects in the foul on jumper. And now it's a nine-point Maverick lead. Ooh, he's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. It's tipped outside green shoots over Gafford and the rejection by Gafford a second chance effort and another field goal in this total make it seven for 14 shooting 50 percent oh man he's feeling it this quarter they should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor Doncic against Curry Doncic passes to green and it's off from three-point range. Warriors trailed by seven. Thompson left side. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. 
the Warriors shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. Derek Jones, he's checked in for P.J. Washington. Chris Paul's checked in for the Warriors. And so Thompson nails both of them. Dallas leading by five. Outside Irving. Passes it to Green. Back to Irving. And it goes out of bounds. Warriors ball. Last touch by Green. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. Now the pass to Wiggins. Thompson outside. Fires the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his fourth assist in this one. Doncic bounce pass. Outside, Jones. They get it back. Shots good by Gafford. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Warriors trail by four. Paul passes to Thompson. Wiggins with it. Jacks up a three. Good on the triple. Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins has got six. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Doncic kicks to Green. To Six on the shot clock. Knocked loose. Here's Kaminga. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. For Dallas, they've gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. And that one's good. Green. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Warriors trail by four. Paul passes to Wiggins. Green dishes to Paul. Now here's Wiggins. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the inside, Jones. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you know what? Very close First to a three-point play right there. For Dallas, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Jones, Jr. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Warriors making a change here. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Warriors trail by five. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Eight points for him. Their third three-pointer in a row. And the Mavericks call I time here. To Dallas. Now, 
Doncic. 14 points for him. Green deciding where to go with it. Throws it up high, and Jones with the stop. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. From deep. And another three for Golden State. Three points. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Outside Green. Outside Irving. Outside Jones. Here's Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal that one on Thompson. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Warriors trailed by three. Pass to Thompson for the tie. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Gafford's got eight rebounds in this game. Out to Doncic. Fires from deep. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Doncic has got 17 now. He's finally getting a chance to show off his reign. I know he wishes he would have found his shot in the first half. Green against Thompson. This one for three. Goes back up. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamentals. That's a line for the Warriors. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Dallas. Shooting one. That one misses. Mavericks leading by four. Irving the open look. And another basket for Dallas. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Here's Looney. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Anjic passes to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. And, and that's a big boy dunk right there. <laughs> he threw that down like a sledgehammer. That is a violent attack on the rim. There's 138 left in the third quarter. Ball against Doncic. Doncic with the block. And good instincts from Doncic. His coaches and teammates love when he's in hustle mode and gets those blocks. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Thompson for three. Carries it from three-point range. Three. Thompson's got eight here in the quarter. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Basket counts. Oh, great ball 
movement there. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Warriors. Pass to Looney. 41 seconds left to play in the third. There's the three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Drills the three-pointer. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Thompson outside. Now here's Paul. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Pocket four. Shoots. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be right back after the... And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Donjic out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's P.J. Washington. Then there's Daniel Gaffin. And it's Green in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Curry outside. It's rebounded by Dallas. Gafford's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And the dunk by Doncic. A great disruptor of the basketball. Luka taking matters into his own hands tonight. Great to see him play like this. Back to Curry. On the wing, Thompson. It's stolen by Green. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Irving looking for an opening. Five to shoot. He can't get that one to fall. Curry with the defensive effort. Poke loose. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Takes it off the glass. Irving's got the lead up to 13 now for the man. High effort play from Kyrie in transition, taking full advantage of the open court in fast break. The pass to Thompson. Over Doncic. Releases from the wing and drills it. Thompson's got 20 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Green dishes to Doncic. Five on the clock. Washington kicks to Doncic. Good! Another from three. And all season long, he's been nothing but money from beyond the arc. You're right. He's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Hardy, he's checked in for Dallas. And Golden State also making a change. Higgins is checked in. Here's Doncic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Doncic has got 17 points here in the second half. Warriors trailed by 16. Curry passes to Thompson. Now Green. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Out. 
to Thompson. The tray. Rebounded by Gafford. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Hey, Washington, yeah. that's good. Every time they get scored. Josh Green, P.J. Washington out there with Daniel Gafford. Then it's Hardy, and it's Irving, and at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Pass to Curry to take the lead. It's rebounded by Dallas. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Irving finds Gafford. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. It's going to be Gafford shooting. It's on Stephen Curry. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Dallas. They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far, they have done an excellent job exploiting it. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. And that one misses. Curry passes to Thompson. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. And that one's good. Irving. Well, Kyrie Irving is very capable of single-handedly sustaining an offense. Hot hand. Yes, sir. Back to Paul. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Green, the pass to Washington. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. It's stolen by Irving. To the paint. Really heads up play by Kyrie Irving. On time and on target pass. We've seen that before. Pass to Curry. Here's Thompson. Kaminga with it. He's guarded by Washington. Inside. Count that one. Crafty, Curry. confident Curry can score in there now. Make no mistake. Doncic outside. And stolen by Paul. And it's going to be a three-second call. So it's the Mavericks now. Six-point lead. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Irving. The officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Pointer. They are unconscious Green. from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Oh, the rebounding. Part of his triple-double. He's been nothing short of spectacular. The 
is looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. And the three-pointer goes. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You'd love to see that kind of effort. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Golden State Warriors. On Friday, they'll be playing against Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And for that game against the Spurs, it's going to be a good challenge for them. Even though they expect to win, it could probably go either way, depending on how well they play. First free throw is good. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. It's both from the strike. Paul gets it Chris to go. Paul. Well, pre-shot preparation is there. Chris Paul anticipating his teammates going to deliver it, and then he delivers on the make. And that one's good. Green. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive, and they've been physical. Shot is good. Boy, Luka Doncic excels in the two-man game. You handle the rock with perfection. Nicely done, young sir. Count it from distance. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Points. That one goes. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. the triple. Now this is his comfort zone. Play Thompson beyond the arc. Such an easy look right there. Hitting the glass with purpose and aggression. Golden State foul. Jonathan Kaminga. Fourth personal foul. Fifteen foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Daniel Gafford. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
first one falls. Both free throws good from Gafford. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, he really got after it tonight. I mean, they asked him to provide a big chunk of the offense, and wow, he responded. The defense had no idea how to contain him. And you know, this whole arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Yeah, you keep defenders guessing with the ability to get to that in-between game, part of what makes Clay Thompson an all-star. with it. Now Doncic defending. Two minutes. Thompson draws the double. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Clay Thompson calm and cool under pressure. How about the big bucket from Clay? One shot. his game. One forty-three left in the fourth. A nice shot by Doncic. Well, Luka Doncic loves the big moment and he delivers. Good. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Oh, he's been doing everything. Hitting the boards, huge game for him thus far. Nice shot by Kuminga. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. He's able to get it back. And if you can't force the turnover on that play, then that's not a bad foul. Jonathan Kaminga. Two shots. Free throw. good on both free throws and that gives him a lead and just incredible confidence at the free throw line that is how you win close games time called here the Mavericks decide to talk it over They're trailing by one there's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter Forty-eight 
28 seconds left to the fourth. Third personal foul. Team is in the middle. Now at the line for your back. P.J. Washington. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops. And that ties this game up. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. You know, he doesn't let that opportunity slip by. Very some big shots at the line. Timeout called. The Warriors. They're losing by one. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Twenty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. He connects! Play big time shot, sending his teammates into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together, everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 24 seconds left in the game. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. They trail by one. Fighting for the rebound, making sure they take back possession. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Taking two shots. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And Chris Paul has always proven willingness to be ready in the clutch, and now it's about making free throws. And he's able to hit the second one, and that'll put him up two. There's six seconds left to play in the fourth. Gets a big time bucket to send it to O. Time expires. We're going to overtime. And we'll be back with you shortly. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. And so it's Dallas with it. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Green out there with Kaminga. And it's Paul in at the one. Doncic passes to Gafford. And here is Green. Knocks it loose. Kaminga with it. Now Doncic defending. Pass to Paul. Launches it. Nice shot there. Chris Making Paul. him 8 for 13. Well, as good as Chris Paul's passing game is, the scoring ability is on par. Back to Doncic. Outside Irving. On the money from 12 feet away. Irving's got 26. If you get caught watching the ball against Kyrie, he's going to go right by you every time. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Thompson. Five to shoot. Here's Wiggins. And there's another one for the Warriors. 
Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Outside, Green. Outside, Irving. Now here's Gafford. To the middle. Here's Washington. And he banks in the layup. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Off target from three-point range. The Mavericks trailing. So he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Clay Thompson picks one up. Guys, you have to love the way Irving uses his body to create contact inside and earn the trip to the strike. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. it up and his next one could give him the lead i think one of the things you have to be in awe of is how creative and how elusive Kyrie irving is to deal with when he's cooking offensively this guy truly a remarkable talent and that one falls that puts him up one point in the game now that's what he does rock solid at the line now a timeout called by Golden State. Stephen Curry, he's checked in for Paul. Here's Thompson on the wing. Curry down low. Shoots. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. How good is Green at drawing solid contact? He plays with a ton of heart and is really good at making the defense commit. Two shots. Good. Green. Well, you love just the versatility of Draymond Green's game. He can score it. He can pass it. He can board it. And we know he's one of the elite defenders in the NBA. He's off on the second. Well, a little shaky from the line, and instead of putting them in front, he's only able to tie it up. And that one's good. Irving. We all know that Irving wants to be the man to hit that shot, and when he takes it, he usually finds a way to finish. Curry passes to Green. Here's Wiggins. Six to shoot. Releases. Doesn't go that time, and it's Dallas the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Irving. Again, the Mavericks, good for two more. Well, smart play by Kyrie Irving. Just gets on the board in the mid-range. Here's Curry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. P.J. Washington picks one up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up Shooting any easy baskets. Stephen Curry at the line for two. And he drops the first. 
Well, no question that Stephen Curry's ability to shoot from range has changed the game. Three point shooting no longer a specialty, guys. It's almost mandatory to play in the league. And so Curry nails both of them. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. Doncic passes to Green. Curry against Doncic. To the inside. Irving. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, not much phases Kyrie Irving. I mean, I love him in this clutch spot. Kyrie Irving. At the line for two. He gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Kyrie Irving's history suggests he has ice in his veins. Another opportunity here at the foul line to show how clutch he is. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. Curry passes to Kuminga. Kuminga against Washington. Outside, Green. Pass to Doncic. Outside, Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Irving for three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Warriors have gotten two of four attempts to go at OT. Here's Thompson. Doncic grabs the miss. The Mavericks have gone an impressive four for five since we started overtime. Takes it inside. Outside for Green. Takes a three. No luck on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. Up and over Doncic. And it's good. And he's brought them within two points now. Nobody you want taking that shot more than Steph Curry. What a pressure player. Doncic. Money. Doncic relishes the opportunity to deliver in big moments. And my goodness, embrace the spotlight, young man. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And he sinks it. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. And they go to the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. You're a bona fide superstar. Luca is a great bet to deliver here. And so he drops them both. And it's a four-point ball game. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're behind by four. There's 25 seconds left in the OT period. Oh, you know what time is, man. Here comes your defense. Right side Curry. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Count it! And he's brought them within two points now. We think of Thompson as a beautifully gifted shooter, but make no mistake, he understands when and where to place the basketball when a teammate is open. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. Taking two shots.
good on the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. Luka Doncic has a long history of being on this stage in these moments so often that he is quite comfortable. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. So it's the Warriors now. The three from Curry, and he buries it. And that one brings him within one. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. No good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And the second of two is good. And that'll put him up two. Curry against Doncic. He got it! And he's tied it up! What a shot! Well, there's a quick release, and then there's the ability to focus through contact. Stephen Curry, he has both. And the Mavericks call time here. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Another time, and we're going to have a second overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. Hey, can't stop now. We're ready for another extra period. What a game of basketball this has been. And the Mavericks with possession here. Outside, Green. Pass to Irving. Let's the three fly. The Warriors pull it in. Kaminga's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Curry with it. Back to Kaminga. Over Irving. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And for Dallas, they're shooting a nice 50% for the game. Pass to Doncic. From deep. And they recover it. Big offensive board. They can milk that clock even more now. Washington's shot is good. He's been doing this for them all game. I mean, just staying alert and taking advantage of every opportunity. Yeah, he's back-to-back -back games like this. He is on a tear, competing with every ounce of energy he's got. Green, the pass to Curry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Curry's got 22. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Doncic finds Irving. Washington outside. Doncic on the wing. He's covered by Curry. They get the rebound. Here's Gafford. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. And the Mavericks lead by one. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Pass to Moody. And Green comes to help. Four on the clock. Kaminga down low. Working on Green. Green, the pass to Wiggins. Another shot. Gets the bucket and the foul. Washington. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in.
Wiggins, no good on that one. Well, getting to the line at will nowadays. Wiggins wanting to improve his free throw percentage. And it's Green missing. The Warriors leading. Down low. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Shooting one. got 13 points now in the quarter. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring, and Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Curry passes to Kaminga, and it's good. Jonathan. Assisting on the play was Curry. And the Warriors lead by four. How about the timing? Two it could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. A nice shot by Doncic. Very rare. Do you see Doncic out of rhythm with his jump shots, even off the dribble? His accuracy is too good. To the middle. Here's Kaminga. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. It goes on Tim Hardaway. At the line for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Kleba, he's checked in for Hardaway. And so both free throws good, and it's a four-point ball game. Here's Doncic. Inside. It's stolen by Green. Wiggins from long range. And that comes off the assist by Green. Three points. Wiggins got 44. Well, right now, Andrew Wiggins understanding in the catch and shoot, they can't guard him. And the shot's good. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. Well, the Warriors' shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Curry passes to Green. And the layup is good off the glass. Green's got six in the quarter. Well, the gravity that Curry commands, it always leads to wide-open looks for the guys around him. Curry against Doncic. Outside for Green. Buries it from three. Green's got 20 points. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Curry passes to Kaminga. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Team is in the middle. At the line for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga taking two shots. the first one and that puts him up five he 
He's off on the free throw. Unable to get the second one to drop. On the wing, Irving. Fires from deep. Warriors with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Green, the pass to Kaminga. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First personal foul. At the line for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga. Two shots. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Timeout called. The Mavericks. They're losing by seven. We've got 33 seconds left in the second overtime. All right, guys, what's your take? It's hard to say whether they have enough time for a quick shot and a foul. Irving against Paul. Irving, the pass to Green. Dallas again missing. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Wiggins, and he dunks it down. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Irving, the pass to Green. The three-pointer off the mark. They've been a different squad here in overtime. I'm just not seeing the same energy level. And so it's Golden State winning this one. The end of the game. Double overtime games are so grueling. And after this one, everyone, the officials, the fans, the broadcasters, will all have to take a little rest. Yeah, I need that rest, I'll tell you. But well, We've got two teams here that are known for their half-court offenses. You're not going to see either side get out and run very often. No, they love to slow it down. They love to come down and and set the table for what they want to run. And the interesting thing, Kevin, is they've got a ton of options that they can trick defenders into thinking something's coming that's not. So this little chess match is going to be a good one. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Andrew Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five spot. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. It's stolen by Curry. To the paint. Here's Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. That's a good look from Clay right there. Just the court awareness. And that guy was wide open. Back to Doncic. Green against Gafford. Great positioning on the putback. I love the determination he showed there. Getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Now, here's Thompson. Really played well against Houston in his last outing. Now he's got so much vertical ability. That's easy for Wiggins. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with Jason Kidd. Thanks, Kevin. He told me that doing a good job defending the perimeter would get everything else going. He said, if we can get them off their spots and make them do things they're not used to, we'll have a very good chance. We'll see if they can execute that strategy, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. Now they can't miss four for four and warming up the burner. Back to Doncic. And he converts the layup. And that's the way to close. Once Doncic has this type of look, game over. Curry against Doncic. Curry passes to Wiggins. He kicks it to Thompson. Four on the clock. Pass to Curry. 
And a miss there on the triple. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Well, Brent, between major injuries and some high-profile roster turnover, it's been an up-and-down last couple years for the Warriors. Yeah, mostly due, Kevin, to injuries. I mean, through it all, they've managed to continue to play with joy. They've given a lot of guys opportunities to just be out there, and then they drafted and rebuilt the team behind the big three to complement those guys as they found their health. So the run is still there for Golden State to do great things. And, uh, winning a championship last year has them back on the top of the mountain. And here is Curry after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Kaminga with a wide open look. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Mavericks leading. Washington, that's for two. Off target with the open look. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Now, here's Curry. He had 27 points last game. And a wide-open look here for Wiggins. Offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second-chance points. Well, he's knocking down most everything, guys. Three of four here. Back to Doncic. Pass to Washington. And here is Irving. Over Thompson. Irving can't hit. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Riggins outside. Thompson in the corner. No good with the triple. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. And the double up Doncic. Washington against Thompson. Washington kicks to Doncic. Launches it. It's rebounded by Curry. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. It's stolen by Green. Over Wiggins. Green, no luck. Golden State's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Wiggins outside. Lock at six. Back to Curry. From past the arc. The Mavericks pull it in. Green taking his time here. Wiggins with the rebound. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. And Kaminga gets it to go. Assist goes to Andrew Wiggins. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Trailing by two. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, watching that game quarter to quarter, they sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Clay Thompson. Irving passes to Gaffer. Doncic kicks to Green. Shot clock at six. Back to Doncic. Shoots over Curry. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Kaminga down low. Working on Green. Kaminga no good. Dallas has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. And Gafford throws it down. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Curry against Washington. Let's it go from 11. That one a little long. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Back to Irving. Fires for three. Raymond Green grabs the miss. 
The Warriors have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. At this late stage of the season, how hard is it, Greg, for teams not to look ahead to the playoffs and the postseason at this point? Kevin, just about impossible. I mean, if you're already in position, the trap you can't fall into is easing up down the stretch and backpedaling into the postseason. And that one misses. All checked in for the Warriors. And he sinks the second. The Mavericks trailing. Outside, Green. And here is Doncic. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. From the arc. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Golden State's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Passes it to Curry. the hole for the second time from the floor now two for five so Steph Curry the best shooter in the world is open and has the ball yeah that's what I thought here's Doncic and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here and it goes on Draymond Green and he's got his first free throw of the game and you know guys he had a big game at the free throw line in their last out taking two shots Shooting two. And the first one drops. And it feels like Doncic has risen to stardom so fast. His drive to be an all-time great is very evident. He's perfect from the line this time. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Curry. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. Thompson finds Green. Shot clock at five. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level. I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who score a lot of points in the NBA, but what he did defensively, he can communicate that quite well. He misses the free throw. Green's broadcasting has even helped his opponents in some cases. Yours probably has too, Kevin, in some instances. But with Draymond, I think what's cool is guys are listening. And when Draymond starts to talk about some of the techniques he uses or some of the things he's looking out for, uh, guys understand that that could improve their game. So why not take it from one of the best in the business? Good on the second free throw. I mean, so much glue in this guy as Draymond focuses on making all the winning plays that he possibly can. On the wing, Irving. Guarded by Kerr. Doncic kicks to Irving. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his third assist on the night. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. 
And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. And a moment here to check out the numbers for Kamingo. He's getting around 16 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Irving surveying the floor. Buries the long-range jumper. Irving's got nine points. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now, here's Paul. With that win against the Rockets, he's another guy who really showed up to play. Here's Green. Feeds to Kaminga. That's a two from Paul. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. Free throw good, Paul. And great, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. That one is no good. He's shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front, but at least they're tied up. Doncic kicks to Green. Doncic looking it over. Oh, good on the triple. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Paul passes to Green. Two points. That one goes. And the Warriors lead by two. A tough, tough shot from Draymond Green, but he brings this out of his squad and frustrates the opponent. Doncic with it. Now Green defending. Irving from long range. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Thompson outside. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two the pass to Curry. Beyond the arc. And another three Stephen for Golden Curry. State. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Trailing by two. 139 left to play in the first quarter. Back to Green. They have a step back. Tries again. And it's Gafford laying it in. Gafford's got the game tied up here for Dallas. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Pass to Thompson. It's tipped. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Thompson. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Warriors trail. Thompson outside. Paul outside. Outside Curry. Shoots the three. 
Wow, yeah. came this close to a four-point point. Head yeah, right to the line for three free throws. Fourteen foul. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. And he hits the first of three. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty, sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Green, and it's Hardy in for Kyrie Irving. He hits the second from the line. And more artwork from the greatest shooter we've ever seen, Curry making it look easy. And he nails the third. The Mavericks trailer. Pass to Hardy. Back to Doncic. Washington with it. Chris Paul covering. Paul against Washington. Dallas again missing. And Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. How about Clay Thompson? He's just so consistent on a nightly basis on both ends of the floor, and he's learned how to share the ball. So it's the Mavericks now. The Warriors making the shot. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Five to shoot. Doncic kicks to Washington on the three off target. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. Back right after this. And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. The defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Warriors leading by three. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Sliding over to the wing spots, it's Curry and Thompson. Kaminga out there with Green, and it's Paul in at the point. Curry can't get it to go. Dallas has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, and nailed five of them. And Gafford throws it down. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Donchich outside. He lobs it up, and Gafford throws it down. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now, here's Thompson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. At the elbow, Green. Just five on the clock. Ball for three. A rebound by Washington. The Mavericks leading. Hardaway dishes to Doncic. Here's Hardy. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. That's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Wiggins is checked in for Stephen Curry. For the Warriors, they won their last contest that game against Houston. And you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory. Here's Doncic. Following the basket by Draymond Green. Back to Doncic. It's rebounded by Kaminga. 
That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Kicks to Paul. Passes it to Wiggins. Thompson from long range. Bangs home the trifecta. Three. Thompson's got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Hardaway with a wide open look. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got six assists in the game. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Washington. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Hard away against Paul. Releases. No good off the back of the rim. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Outside, Green. Shoots from the elbow. Another shot. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Gafford's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Doncic outside. Dallas moving it around. He kicks it to Hardaway. And here's Washington outside. Unable to get that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. From deep Washington. And Gafford throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Here is Paul following the score by Dallas. There's the feed to Johnson. Back to Green. Takes a three. Mavericks with the rebound. Hardaway with it. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Higgins outside. And the pass to Paul. Green breaking loose. Paul's shot is off. The Mavericks have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. And stolen by Wiggins. Over Hardaway. Makes good on the step-back jumper. Wiggins has got four points in the quarter. Good effort as Andrew Wiggins gets out on the break, running the floor, and a strong finish. Pass to Hardy. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Thompson. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day, Greg, falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? Oh, it's way more common now. And, and let's face it, a it's break. a copycat a league. All two the shots. whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. First free throw is good. And the Mavericks with some changes. Powell, he's jacked in for P.J. Washington. Josh Green comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Doncic. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Golden State's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Shot's good by Green. 
Chris Paul is going to find anybody that's leaning the wrong way, let alone leaving an open man. Pass to Hardy. Back to Irving. Here's Hardy, defended by Paul. Thompson against Irving. Six to shoot. Over Thompson. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Kyrie Irving. The coach is yelling at the defense to at least get a hand up on Kyrie Irving. Passes to Wiggins. Back to Thompson for the three. Powell pulls it in. And he's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. And the dunk by Powell. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now here's Paul. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. And there's the pass to Wiggins. Over Green. And it's Wiggins missing. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Hardy, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Count that bucket. Thompson's got five points so far. Clay is pretty physical as an off guard and willing to go in there and take a bump. Pass to Gafford. Now here's Hardy. Outside green. Puts it up. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got rebound number five here tonight. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Dallas calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. Now, here's Hardy. He's covered closely. Pass to Gaffer. Outside green. Pulls it up. And that one is off. The Warriors go the other way with it. Curry looking it over. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal foul. You don't want to put Curry at the line. That's just dangerous and pretty much two points. Stefan, the best free throw shooter ever. The Warriors have gone six of nine at the line. That's good from Stefan Curry. Free throws good for Curry. Mavericks trailed by five. Irving passes to Hardy. Wiggins against Green. It's stolen by Green. Here's Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. Here's where Draymond Green just completely disrupts a possession. He reads the offense well and takes a good calculated risk. Hardy passes to Gaff. Plays it up and banks it in. Gafford's got eight points here in this quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Wiggins outside. 
Back to Curry. Thompson outside. His three-pointers off the mark. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. And the wide-open shot from Green. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Green kicks to Irving. Over Thompson. Here's Powell. It's rebounded by Golden State. Thompson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Jaden Hardy is going to pick up the foul. First personal foul. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Jones checked in for the Mavericks. One thirty-three left in the first half of basketball. Passes it to Thompson. Over Irving. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Now you can never let Clay shoot off a crisp pass. He just lets that go so quick. Outside green. Now here's Hardy. Guarded by Kerr. And the dunk by Powell. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Now, here's Thompson. He's got seven. The pass to Green. Down low. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Powell. Green, no luck. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Stephen Curry, first personal foul. The Mavericks getting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. For Dallas, Hardy at the line for two. throw good Hardy and getting to the line and hitting your free throws a, a good way to get back into the game it stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense they've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter and so he's able to get one of two Warriors leading by four. Four seconds separating the shot game clocks. And Thompson gets it to go. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Irving against Thompson. Outside Irving. Over Thompson. Dallas no good that time either. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. It's time now to go court. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He ended up with 15 points, two rebounds, and one assist. He's really stood out for them to this point. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout out to the playmaker. This team's success is because of you, brother. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? This kind of defense won't cut it. You have to get yourself in position to contest shots. This team's making the right reads and putting forth the effort. They've done neither, and the opponent is taking advantage. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan.
Go back. To Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. Then it's Green, then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Doncic in at the one. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Here's Green. Second chance shot. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, Draymond just eating glass that time on the inside, finding some room, carving out space. Great activity. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Mind the length. Mind the length. One shot. Free throw good, Green. Mavericks trailed by nine. Outside Irvin. Pass to Green. Now Gafford. Pass to Doncic. A floater. The shot's good. Doncic has got nine. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. Thompson for three. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. And the Warriors lead by 10. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. And it's Wiggins missing. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged, that's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. And a deep three from Curry. It's rebounded by Dallas. Washington's got six rebounds in the game. Donjic passes to Gafford. An emphatic LU jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Curry against Donjic. Dishes to Irving. Again, the Mavericks score. That's three of four here to start the half. Warriors leading by nine. Passes it to Wiggins. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Kaminga. That one goes. Count it. 15 points for Jonathan Kaminga. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Wiggins surveying the floor. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. Second That's foul, foul number two for him. Second team it's still foul. early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. A three-pointer. Wiggins. It's rebounded by Doncic. Mavericks trailed by nine. Outside, Green. 
Now the pass to Gafford. And foul yeah. on the shot, so he'll get a chance Second at the line. Second they get Stephen foul. Curry. First team foul. The Mavericks have been coming through at the charity stream. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. First one falls for. He doesn't get the second one but only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Curry can't get it to go. And his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Warriors leading by eight. Green the pass to Kaminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Irving. Up again. It's good on the putback. They are just killing them on the interior. Warriors have gone a somewhat so far 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Pass to Kaminga. Shoots over Washington. Kaminga, no good. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Green passes to Washington. Outside Irving. The three for Doncic. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now it's just a four-point warrior lead. And those are exactly the kinds of plays that can spark a team. Just solid work down in the paint. The vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time. Doncic finds Gafford. to Green and stolen by Wiggins. He trains the quick shot. And now it's an eight-point Warrior lead. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. The Mavericks have made their free throws in a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. That free throw missing. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Chris Paul comes in for Clay Thompson. And he's good on the second. Warriors leading by seven. Time out called the Warriors. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. These are the top distributors of the basketball for the last 10 games as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Luka Doncic fourth. And those games have seen him dropping more dimes than you might have thought possible. Paul passes to Green. Out to the wing. The shot by Looney, no good. Mavericks trailed by seven. 
Irving passes to Washington. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line and, and really, guys, his percentage from the line at 70 isn't quite up to snuff. Free throw good from Washington. Warriors leading by four. Higgins outside. Pass to Paul. Takes the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this hole spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Paul kicks to Kurt. Paul against Dutchess. On the wing, Green. Six on the shot clock. No good, unable to end this run. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. Kicks it to Kerr. A three-pointer, Wiggins, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside Irving. The pass to Green. Doncic outside. Pass to Irving. Three-pointer. Green with the rebound. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Wiggins passes to Looney. Curry against Irving. Fires high post. It's rebounded by Doncic. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Here's Curry. Doncic with the block. Hey, good instincts from Doncic. His coaches and teammates love when he's in hustle mode and gets those blocks. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Timeout called the Warriors. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Just killing it from deep. They, they got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch, and you just ask him for him to drop another triple on him. Powell comes in for Daniel Gafford. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Green. The Warriors making a switch here. And here are the Warriors now. Ball left side. So the wing on the left. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That's foul number two for him. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Dallas has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And he uses the glass on the way Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Ball against Doncic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. And that'll be his third foul so far. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Ball against Doncic. 
Ask the Looney. Out left to the wing. And here is Moody. Ball outside. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Doncic. Doncic with the block. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Back to Paul. Guarded by Powell. And that one, good. The Mavericks trailing. Anjic passes to Irving. Here's Hardaway. Back to Irving. Lock at six. Over to the wing. Doncic trying to get open. Washington kicks to Doncic. Two minutes remaining. Back to Washington. Two minutes. Here's Irving. Lays it up off the glass. Irving's got it all tied up now for Dallas. And this is when Kyrie is at his best, getting to his spots on the floor, executing, and playing with some aggressiveness. Now, here's Moody. Tight defense on him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Yeah, the defender all over. The Warriors have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. No good on the free throw. Dallas making a switch here. Jones has checked in. And he sinks the second. They come away with the lead, but I'm sure he's kicking himself over that last miss. Outside Irving. Doncic against Paul. For the lead. And that one's good. Doncic. Doncic has got 15. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Here's Paul. Banked in off the glass. Paul. And the Warriors lead by one. Chris Paul, a crafty finisher, gets inside, and despite being six feet, will find a way to get it done. Passes it to Hardaway. He kicks to Doncic. There's the triple. No good. Shot missing. The Warriors shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Golden State moving it around. There's the pass to Paul. Misses the three. A struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up, he can just chalk this up as one of those nights. Here's Moody. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Tim Hardaway picks one up. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard numbers. Throw good, Moody. Good on both.
Now, here is Irving on the money with the open jumper. Irving's got 11 in the second half. I wish Kyrie sometimes would just dribble out the 24-second shot clock. It's so fun to watch him on the handle. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The Warriors lead by one. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. We need all you can. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Here's Jones. Here's Irving. Count that one. Irving's got 27. Well, not the biggest guy or the strongest guy on the floor. Kyrie, a master of finishing after contact. Pass to Green. Mavericks with the rebound. Gafford's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Doncic passes to Green. Now Jones. Outside Irving. Pass to Doncic. Beyond the clock. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Curry's got four rebounds in this game. Just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Draymond Green. If he can get his steps together, Draymond Green will throw it down. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. And it's out of bounds. Just touched by Doncic. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Washington's checked in for Jones. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They've led by as many as 11 points. Kaminga kicks to Green. Curry against Doncic. Riggins outside. Four on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. It's Curry outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists in the game. And here's Doncic from the arc. That shot is in just like six others have been for. He's shooting seven for 15. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. To the middle and stolen by Kyrie Irving. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Count it. Irving's got four this quarter. You just never know where the shots are going to come from from Kyrie on the inside. So creative with his finishing. Higgins outside. Thompson against Irving. Thompson is double. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It'll be a jump ball. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Gafford with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Pass to Irving. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. Over Irving. Thompson misses. For Dallas, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Shot from 12. Misses off the left iron. Warriors have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Kept alive. Wiggins and a deep three from Curry. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his fifth assist in this one. Doncic kicks to Irving. Inside. Here's Green. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Green's got the game tied up here for the man. 
Up top, Curry. He's covered by Irving. Curry's shot is off. For Dallas, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Thompson with it. He's picked up by Doncic to the paint. Stolen by Washington. Outside, Green. Outside, Irving. The pass to Washington. Gafford against Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's the Warriors on the break. On its way from Curry for two. That shot, no good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly, he had an established position there. And the Mavericks call time here. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. This is a close game, as you know, and he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move right now. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. And really, at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. Yeah, and you know who your Warriors are by plays like that. They make it when it matters most. For Dallas, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Anjic passes to Green. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Nice. That one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Golden State's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Right side, Green. Back to Curry. And it's good, two points. Curry. Curry's got eight points here in this quarter. That's tough, tough finish. Steph's not just a great shooter, but really great numbers through the years as being an elite finisher. Irving against Thompson. Irving passes to Washington. Shoots over Kaminga. They get a bet. The shot's good from Gafford. Gafford's got the lead up to two now for Dallas. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Stolen by Washington. Here's Green. And dead on that time. Beautiful shot. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Curry against Doncic. On deep. Rebounded by Gafford. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Green inside, covered by Wiggins. Here's Irving. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, when your point guard is Kyrie Irving, and he decides to mix it up on the inside, that helps out your ball club. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Dallas. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie's such an unpredictable player in a lot of ways, but when out, he's on, out. there's few players in the league that can match up with his pure scoring ability. Timeout called the Warriors. 
And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Daniel Gafford. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Here's Thompson. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. And how about Clay showing off his handle as he finds some open room to get to the score? Irving kicks to Doncic. Up top, Gafford. Poked away. Pass to Washington. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Kuminga. And Kuminga throws it down. And we could have been looking at a two-possession game, but that was a huge mistake on the turnover. Now, nerves becoming a factor. Doncic finds Gafford. On the wing, Irving. It's good from long range. Irving's got nine points in the quarter. And defensively, they've gotten a little careless, not playing with the same focus we saw in the first. Curry on the wing. Guarded by Doncic. Oh, they get it back. Out of bounds. Dallas will take possession. Dallas leading by five. Pass to Gafford. Washington with it. Outside Irving. Tigers with three. Offensive rebound Mavericks. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Warriors trailed by five. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. Here's Kuminga. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Jonathan Kuminga. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. All three throws good from Kaminga. And they are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. Outside green. Doncic dishes to Irving. No good on the three. They get that one, but guys, on the night, that's been the problem, securing the ball. Here's green. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Here's Washington, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Doncic against Curry. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Green. Shoots over Gafford. That doesn't go either for Green. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Irving. They get the rebound. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
That one on Thompson. Kyrie, certainly one of the draftiest players in the league with the ball in his hands. Just a nightmare to defend, especially in space. down the first one. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. And I want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Stolen by Washington. And it's the Mavericks on the break. It's good. Irving's got 38 points. Kyrie's such a blur in the open court. Leaks out so quickly and then gets to the right spot in transition. And the whistle blows. And it's going to be on Luka Doncic. That's his fourth foul of the contest. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Now Curry. Passes it to Green. Right wing. Here's Kaminga. And the Warriors miss again. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Curry with the steal. In the corner, it's Wiggins. It's stolen by Green. Outside Irving. Kicks to Green. The pass to Gaffer. Now, here's Doncic. Just four to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Irving. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Irving's got 40 points. A defender has Irving closely covered, but he's just so determined to get through the contact and to the bucket. Curry passes to Thompson. And that's turned over in about the most frustrating way possible. There's good turnovers. That wasn't one of them. At least this one doesn't lead to an automatic fast break, the live ball turnover. So that's the best you can say about that play. Pass to Gafford. Here's Washington. Outside Irving. Latrey drills it from outside. Irving's got the lead at the 12 now for the man. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it, went right into the shot. Andrzej outside. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And it's out of bounds. Was touched by Doncic. Nineteen seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Moody. Off target with his three. And here's Exum. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever they're... Well, the end of the regular season is inside now. For some teams, anticipation's building for the playoffs. Mark, for others, the offseason is waiting. I think as a player, there's a reason to be excited for either scenario. I mean, you're one of 500 players getting paid to play in the best basketball league in the world. So whether you're playoff bound or not, you're still a professional player in the NBA, and you have a certain amount of pride and competitiveness 
to perform at a high level. All right, checking out Golden State's opening lineup. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Kaminga is out there with Green. And it's Curry in at the one. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Jonathan on target from range. Three. Boy, Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick, showing off his passing skills there. Green, the pass to Doncic. Back to Green. on the clock. Irving for three. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. The fire that Irving plays with, Adler. I mean, you can feel it. When you make a three on him, it's payback time. He's coming at you. And the basket by Curry. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Irving. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Pass to Washington. Shoots over Kaminga. Can't hit that one. The Warriors go the other way with it. Last time they met in San Francisco. Well, in this last matchup, they captured the win in large part because their backups provided a lot of the scoring punch. And you know what? I expect them to go deep into the bench again tonight to give those guys on the bench a chance to have an expanded role, but also to give those starters some rest. That one's off. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. And he sinks the second. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. That's yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Now, here's Green. He's averaging almost five points a game. Irving for three. That shot off. So Golden State will take it the other way. And a deep three from Curry. Washington grabs the miss. For Dallas, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Pass to Doncic. And here is Irving. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Shoots over Wiggins. And that one's good. Irving. Irving's got eight. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Over Green. And the Warriors miss again. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Gets the three ball to go. 11 points in the game. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Golden State calls timeout. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Golden State has gone two for three from outside the arc. Green against Wiggins. Back to Curry. There's the three. Kept alive. Green. 
And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And on the glass, Green can be very effective. He's got good instincts and knows when to get physical. For the Warriors, Draymond Green, one shot. This Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Now here's Gafford. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Doncic against Curry. Here's Gafford. Warriors with the rebound. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay-in. Washington against Green. Up top, Wiggins. Charity stripe shot. And that comes Andrew off the Wiggins. assist by Green. Hey, it's a simple game. Just take what the defense allows. Wiggins reads it. Smooth with the mid-range stroke. Knock it down. Pass to Green. Three-pointer. And the Mavericks. Another three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Wiggins. He had 16 in the win against Houston. Green finds Thompson. On the wing, Curry, started by Doncic. Curry's shot is off. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Here's Green. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Thompson. And stolen by Green. Irving with it. Up again. Missed it, even after all of those chances. To the paint. Here's Kuminga. Boom! He jams it straight down. We highlight Thompson's scoring often. But right there, just a great read to get it to the open teammate. Washington outside. The shot no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. This game following their win against the Rockets. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. And it was funny, the road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed, and got it done. Doncic with the bucket. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Now here's Curry. He picked up 27 points in their last win against Houston. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Wiggins. Right now, he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Thompson outside. Wiggins, left side, and he comes up with a bucket. Wiggins has got five points. Out of the pick and roll, Wiggins doing a nice job. Staying poised, causing the defender just enough hesitation where he can make his move. Now here's Doncic. Second chance effort, and it's finished off inside by Washington. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Here's Curry. Got it. Two for five now. Curry. And that's Curry's shot all night. He may not rise above people from mid-range, but he makes up for it with the quick release. Here's Irving. 14 points for him. Connects from downtown. Green's got his second basket. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Curry passes to Wiggins. Doncic against Curry. Outside, Green. Washington grabs a miss. Washington's got four rebounds now. 
Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Just 10 games left. Let's see the playoff race in the West. You look at Dallas with great effort over a long season. They're second in the conference. And, of course, the Warriors down four spots. Well, I think for Golden State, they've stayed within arm's length of the conference leaders. That in itself is an accomplishment at this point in the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right, it's still nice work considering where they are. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Pass to Green. Thompson outside. Fires for three. Sinks it from distance. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Klay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. And, you know, what's most impressive about Luka Doncic is how fast he has become a bona fide star in this league. I mean, you get the feeling he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. But I believe those games at the highest level in Europe really prepared him to Shoot be a two. star in the NBA. And he makes a first. And Luca is the kind of guy you build your team around, Clark. Yeah, and I think this next step is being a franchise player that learns how to lead effectively. It's incredible how much he has already accomplished at such a young age, and his transition coming to the NBA from Europe has been, I think, surprisingly seamless. Doncic hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Paul passes to Thompson. Out left to the wing. Beyond the arc. Gets the three to fall. Pass first mindset of Paul. When you leave somebody open on his squad, he's going to make you pay for it. Pass to Irving. Here's Green. Defended by Thompson. Green, the pass to Gafford. On the wing, Irving. Clock at six. Over Curry. The shot comes out. The Warriors go the other way with it. Outside Kaminga. Jacks up a three. That's good from Curry. On the assist from Paul. Curry's got his third basket on the night right there. Doncic passes to Washington. Now here's Green. Pass to Washington. Deflects the pass. Yeah, fearless play from Curry inside. Going up against tough defense and getting fouled while shooting. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. And that one falls for Curry. You never really get tired of watching Curry do his thing. The stroke on his shot is such a thing of beauty. And when he's dialed in, his offensive performances are just tremendous. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. That one's no good. The Mavericks leading. Inside. Washington passes to Gafford. Warriors foul. Jackson Davis. First personal foul. Third team foul.
Off the inbound pass. And Doncic hammers it home. Speedy drive by Doncic. That doesn't quite go together. He usually is going at his home pace, but he does take advantage of holes when he sees it. Here's Hardy. And he buries his first look. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Thompson outside. Pass to Curry. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. So good at staying in control. Curry isn't afraid of attracting contact on the way up. Outside, Green. Here's Washington. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Outside, Paul. The three from Thompson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Three points. Thompson's got six points. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Outside Paul. Fires from 14. Washington grabs the miss. The Mavericks shooting right around 57%. Very efficient so far in the first. Pass to Doncic. And here's Gafford. He's guarded by Paul. Gafford with the bucket. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Outside Curry. Can't get it to fall. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. The Mavericks on top. They lead by a bucket. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Golden State has gone six of nine from three-point range. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. Then it's Hardy, then it's Green, and it's Doncic in a point. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Now here's Paul. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Pocket four. Kuminga the pass to Paul. Here's Thompson. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got three assists in the game. No surprise here. Thompson's talent as a shooter making him a constant scoring threat. Here's Green. Pass to Gafford. Uses the glass on the layup. Gafford's gotten his second bucket. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Thompson. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Houston. And he had three huge blocks, which had a psychological effect as much as anything. Tries again. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Doncic. What offensive effort from Green. Backing off the shot isn't even a consideration for him. Well, Clark, it's getting harder to find players' true positions. We've got bigs who bring the ball up the court. we got guards who defend in the post. Yeah, it's a very different kind of a game. Actually, we hear this phrase, positionless basketball, all the time, B.A., but the skill level of players is so vast now. I mean, everybody handles the ball, wings and bigs, and you mix and match skills across the court and at every position so a lot of diversity in the skill set of players in today's game yeah in terms of winners in nba history few have the resume of draymond green andrew wiggins checked in for curry
He hits the second from the line. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives him a chance to do just that, Ali. Thank you. Now here's Paul. He had 22 in the win against the Rockets in Houston. And piling up the points at the line. He was in attack mode all night. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Thompson again serving. The kick out to Wiggins. Takes the three. Doncic grabs the miss. The Mavericks leading. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Irving for three. Knocked away. The Warriors have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Wiggins against Doncic. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. And Washington powers it through. Boy, off the turnover that time, Washington doing a good job scoring because he hustled down the court. Pass to Wiggins. Green against Gafford. It's good. Green's got his second basket on the night. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Ball against Doncic. Now Gafford. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his third foul so far. First team foul. Irving with it. 14 points for him. The three from Washington. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Wiggins again, Tardaway. Wiggins passes to Thompson over Irving. And there's Thompson on the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins got three assists now in this one. Doncic outside. Outside for Irving. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got four rebounds in the game. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside. But he can't get it going here. And there's the lob. And down hard. Flying high for the catch and flush. Wiggins gets off the ground in a hurry. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Gafford finds Hardaway. Here's Washington. He's got it. Three for seven now. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean... He's a threat every time up the floor. And so it's Golden State with it. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Outside Paul. Pass to Green. Thompson with it. He's guarded by Irving. Four on the clock. Here's Wiggins. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. What a nice job getting up to deny that shot. Washington showing you terrific anticipation on that rejection. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. For Dallas, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Doncic has got 11 points. Irving doing a nice job there being creative and efficient with that beautiful assist. Thompson outside. Ball against Doncic. Left side green. Back to Thompson. They double-team Thompson. Green for three. 
It's rebounded by Dallas. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Hardaway, the pass to Washington. Pass to Irving. Here's the three. Fires in the triple. 17 points in the game. Boy, he strikes again from range. His fourth in this game after draining three in the first period. Ball passes to Kaminga. Wiggins with it. Thompson outside to stop the run. Jump shot is good. You expect this from an elite scorer like Thompson. Let's just hope he can maintain this rhythm. Timeout, timeout. timeout on the floor. Mavericks. Checked in. Washington against Kaminga. Releases. A oh, nice shot by Doncic. Doncic has got 13. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. And here are the Mavericks now. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Pass to Powell. Kicks it to Doncic. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Greg. No question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Now here's Kaminga. He's got five. Six on the shot clock. Here's Paul. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Drives to the hoop. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. Doncic is able to blow by opponents and make them pay. Even though he's not the greatest athlete, he's sneaky quick. Outside Paul. Pass to Green. Oh, great D that time from Powell. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 14-4 run. Doncic. That one goes in. And now a nine-point Maverick lead. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Off finds Kaminga. Here's Wiggins. Up and over Hardaway. Wiggins, no good. Dallas has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Back to Doncic. Let's go with a 3. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got 4 assists in the game. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Yeah, they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. And the Warriors call time here. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. They really need to reshape their defense. They have to get out to him quicker to slow his three-point attack. Green's checked in for Hardaway. Off the inbound. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Wiggins has gotten four this quarter. An excellent score off the dribble. Wiggins starting to excel in the catch-and-shoot game, too. Pass to Green. The three is up. Kaminga pulls it in. Kaminga's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Wiggins. Not going to go that time. Oh, great D that time from Powell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Savvy play that time on the part of Washington. Got his man in an awkward position. The line for then threw the foul. He, Jay Washington. Two shots. 
shooting two. The first free throw is good. So hits one and misses one at the line. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Paul passes to Green. Wiggins for three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got four assists now tonight. Tell you what, somebody came to play and compete tonight. Wiggins has been bagging his groceries all game long. Washington against Kaminga. Pass to Wiggins. Now Paul, just five to shoot. Another three for Golden State. Really confident shooting from Paul out at the arc. If he likes to look, he can drain it from range. Outside, Green. One fifty-one left to play in the half. And again for three. And all season long, he has been nothing but money from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. Pass to Wiggins. Green in the post. Powell covers. Second shot opportunity. And he can't get that one. And it's Dallas the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Now here's Irving. 20 points for him. Paul against Irving. Pass to Wiggins from outside the arc. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Doncic against Paul. Outside for Green. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And Golden State also making a switch. Looney's checked in. Golden State has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Paul passes to Green. Out to the wing. Left side, Kaminga. Outside, Paul. Shot clock at six. Cashes in the 12-footer. Paul's got five points now this quarter. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. Doncic outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Dwight Powell. That's his first foul. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Doncic has been an immediate star, capable of big nights just about any time he's on the court. With one on the clock. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. 25 points and counting for him. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Luka Doncic has been the story in this one. He had 25 points, two assists, and three rebounds. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possession or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their pacing. They're disciplined. They're focusing on playing intelligent. Jack, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Defensively, they got to do a better job of staying connected. They're going to live up from beyond the arc. Better to crowd those guys, force them to put the ball on the floor and make a play. 
And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. In that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Chris Paul. And it's Green in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Wiggins. It's rebounded by Dallas. Gafford's got four rebounds now. And Irving, the bucket on the assist by Gafford. Irving's got 22. Tell you what, I don't think there's been a single shot that Irving has wanted and didn't get so far. Curry passes to Thompson. Wiggins has space. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Green. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Here's Paul. Ooh, good D by Irving. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Washington passes to Doncic. Washington inside. Working on green. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, it's a nice sight to see Washington attacking inside. Just making the defense foul. P.J. Washington taking two shots. That one falls for Washington. And so Washington nails both of them. The Warriors have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Curry passes to Thompson. Doncic against Curry. Here's Wiggins. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. There it is. The first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Irving for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Green. On the wing, Curry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got five assists tonight. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Irving against Thompson. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on for his ball. Hard to keep up with Irving. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, always attacking. one falls for him. Both free throws good from Irving. 
the Warriors have gone two of five in this third quarter. Thompson outside. Wiggins outside. Clock at six. From 12 feet. Washington grabs the miss. The Mavericks have gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Green. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Now here's Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Ugh, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, the Mavericks this season trying to build a title contender around Luka Doncic, but not a lot of luxury tax wiggle room. Luka said, quote, I trust them. Whatever move they make, I have great teammates, and we're playing great basketball. Brian? Well, no one wants to see Luka in the playoffs, Ali. Thanks for that. From deep, here's Doncic. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got seven rebounds in the game. Three-pointer. The Mavericks pull it in. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Irving, the pass to Washington. Count that bucket. Washington's got 11 points. Boy, lock into that focus from Washington there. Love the body control, too. Excellent. Here's Wiggins. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Outside, Green. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And the first one at the line is good. No good on the second free throw. The Warriors have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Wiggins passes to Green. And no good. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Pass to Irving. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Irving's got six points in the quarter. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. There's the triple. Knocks down the triple. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Pass to Washington. On the wing, Green. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Green's got ten points in the game. Boy, an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness, impressive. Back to Curry. Oh, there's the alley. Stolen by Gafford. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. And that one's good. Irving. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Here's Thompson. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. As his career has developed, Clay has added this to his arsenal, becoming more than just a shooter. Pass to Green. And here is Irving. This one for three. Doesn't go for him. He's really slowed down a bit here in the second half. He hasn't converted a three yet after the tremendous first half he had. Now Thompson. He's guarded by Irving. Wiggins with it for three. Gafford grabs the miss. 
Gafford's got seven rebounds in the game. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Tremendous hustle working hard for that bucket. And the Warriors call time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. So it's the Warriors now. Down by 12. Hardaway against Wiggins. Shot clock at five. He shoots. And the Warriors miss again for Dallas. They've got seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Doncic against Curry. Doncic shot is good. Doncic has got 27 points. Boy, it's so impressive you see Doncic at his size handle the ball the way he does. As a defender, he can really put you on your heels. Wiggins, no good. For Dallas, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Hardaway on the wing. Pounded by Wiggins. Hardaway, the pass to Gafford. Again, Dallas. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Pass to Thompson. Poke loose. Now Wiggins lets it go from 14. And it's in there. Wiggins has got six here in the quarter. Tell you what, for a small forward, Wiggins is strong inside of me. And only growing in confidence, too. That's scary for the opposition. Now here's Washington. Green covering. Kicks it to Doncic. The three ball. No luck on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Back to Curry. He's guarded by Gafford. Irving for three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Kaminga. He's out there with Andrew Wiggins. Chris Paul is out there with Green. And without much left to prove, Doncic still trying to hone the consistency of that three ball. But the confidence, no doubt, is there. Mavericks trailed by eight. To Hardaway. And stolen by Wiggins. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Warriors. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. Shooting one. Free throw, no good. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And he recovers it. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. On the wing, Wiggins. Fires the three. And he's good on the three ball. 15 points in the game. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Luka Doncic. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Back 
back to Paul. Over Doncic. And the Warriors tack on two more. The ageless wonder. Paul's jump shot has only gotten better over time. And the pass to Hardy. Back to Doncic. Launches it. And again for three. And all season long, he's been nothing but money from beyond the arc. You're right. He's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. Green inside, covered by Gafford. And it's Green missing. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Pass to Kaminga. Two minutes remaining in the third. Six on the shot Two clock. Minutes. And good. Got Jonathan the English that time Kaminga. as it falls. Kaminga's got 16 points. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And it's Washington missing. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. From 12 feet out, here's Kaminga. And the rejection by Gafford. Hardaway passes to Washington. Here's Hardy. Fires from deep. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to nine in the bucket from Luka Doncic. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Paul finds Kaminga. Wiggins with it. Guarded by Hardaway. Paul against Doncic. Green. It's rebounded by Dallas. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Here's Doncic. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Wiggins has got his fourth rebound in this one. 29 seconds left to play in the third. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. A different look for Dallas. Green comes in for P.J. Washington. And Irving subbed in for Hardy. And the first one at the line is good. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And he makes both free throws. We've got 22 seconds left in the third. Doncic against Paul. The kick out to Irving. The three-pointer off the mark. Now, here's Thompson. Over Irving. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with Green. Then there's Doncic. Then there's Irving. And it's Gafford in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. 
and they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And they pick up two. Curry's got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. This is what Curry does best. He is so creative at getting into rhythm and staying hot. This is it to Hardaway. And they double up Doncic. And the wide open shot from Green. Offline with his three. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, for real. Guys tend to, to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just try to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. And he can't get the first one. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Good on the second free throw. Mavericks trailed by 14. Outside Irving. Pass to Gafford. Irving looking for an opening. Five on the clock. And there's the pass to Kleba. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got assist number five here tonight. Ooh, that's a clever pass there by Kyrie. Getting the ball to the guy for the better look. Tipped away. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. And taken away by Paul. Kicks it to Curry. Right side green. Back to Curry. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. He has been a key factor for them offensively. Scoring with consistency. Outside Irving. Pass to Kleba. Stolen by Thompson. And the upcoming schedule for the Mavericks. On Friday, they'll host the Charlotte Hornets. And for that game against Indiana, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. That free throw good from Thompson. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. And so Thompson nails both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Curry against Irving. You can't get that one. Curry was a nice D. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance. Washington kicks to Green. Pass to Gaffer. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Gafford's got the lead up to one now for Dallas. But he is out there with Irving. 
and it's Green. Then there's P.J. Washington. And it's Gafford in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And Kaminga gets it to go. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he beat up? Passes to Hardy. Washington passes to Green. Dallas moving it around. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Warriors on the break. That's just a good look from Clay as his teammate was open. Washington trying to break free. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. It's the three-point five. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. I like their defense tonight, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there, they've had active hands, they've been in great position, and they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Green breaking loose. Paul. The shot's good from Paul. And Chris Paul, so comfortable operating in the mid-range. Washington trying to break free. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Irving. Good. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Green. He's very smart about spotting up in transition, and no one rotated over to contest that one. Kaminga. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Hardy. In great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. I'll take a look at it. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Kaminga 
gets it to go. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. And the Mavericks call time here. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic has checked in. Josh Green. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Friday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And you know for that Pelicans game, it's going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Here's Doncic. Bobbed up there for Green. Can't cash in from close range. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. And they double up Doncic. Gafford trying to break free. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Green. Timeout time called time the Warriors. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Free throw good from Kaminga. So he gets them both. taking it to another level. We know he's capable. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 
The shot's good from Paul. And I just love how Chris Paul steps up and nails crucial baskets. A huge momentum changing shot there. Doncic with it. Now Green defending. Count it and the Warrior lead has been cut down to three points. Nice bucket there from Doncic. How about the poise from Doncic right there. He ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And he lobs it up toward the rim and Gaffers throws it down. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Thompson is double. impressive when a smaller player has a nose for the ball and rises up amongst the taller ones to grab rebounds. Yes! Yeah, and you see Chris Paul sweating right now? I don't. Dallas calls timeout. They're behind by five. 27 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Irving and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Timeout called the Warriors. They're in front by five. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Kyrie Irving, fifth personal foul, third team foul. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the final quarter, and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. personal foul, and so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. When you think of Clay Thompson, most people think of that three-point shot. But really, it's Clay's ability as a two-way player on the perimeter that has been a standout talent. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. And the Mavericks call time here. They're down by seven. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. Substitution on the court. And so here is Dallas. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway and that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. So we see the Warriors get the win here. 
A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by. You know, Grant, a positive trend in this league right now. Teams would rather risk losing a game than sacrifice a player's health. Well, it's all about a player's health, B.A., when it's all said and done. A player with minor injuries are usually held out now, sometimes even against their own will. A much different situation than when I was playing many years ago. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Draymond Green is out there with Kaminga. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. Now here's Kaminga. Let's it go from 11. And there's Wiggins. That's good. On the assist by Kuminga. A main area of emphasis for Wiggins moving forward has to keep knocking it down from the mid-range. Back to Doncic. Washington finds Green. On the wing, Irving. It's rebounded by Golden State. This game following their win against the Rockets. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. And it was funny, the road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed, and got it done. Drew Wiggins at the line for two. down the first one a decent free throw shooter is Wiggins trying to become more than that though given how often he gets himself to the line so he makes one of two and the second one misses he should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Wiggins against Green. Back to Doncic. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. You can trust Luka to make the most of a close shot. I mean, he won't waste a high percentage look most times. Green against Wiggins. Pass to Kaminga. All sorts of time. Gafford grabs the miss. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. And it's Washington missing. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. And that's a foul called on that's Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here's Gafford. In his last outing, eight points for him. Outside Irving. 4-3. Another three for Dallas. You know, the threat of Irving's drive can open up looks for him from the perimeter. And he is a gifted scorer, folks. Thompson passes to Green. And here is Kaminga. He's now one for two with that bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Green. He's averaging almost five points a game. Doncic against Curry. Just five on the clock. Offensive board. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. Clay Thompson First picks one up. Well, it's a nice sight to see Washington attacking inside. Just making the defense foul. Washington. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw misses. Oh, 
Good on the second one. The Warriors have gone two of three from the floor. Curry passes to Kaminga. Shot from 12. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Pass to Green. Outside Irving. The three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his third assist of the night. The Warriors trailing. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Outside Kaminga. Up top Curry. Thompson right side. And a miss there on the triple. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Kuminga against Green. Doncic outside. No good. Green with the defensive effort. Doncic is gone. One for three on the night. Here's Wiggins. Unable to get that one. And it's Dallas the other way. Victory eluded them last time in San Francisco when they faced the Warriors. Last game, their starting lineup struggled to stay on the floor. It just put too much pressure on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. And the Warriors with possession here. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. Now here's Doncic. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. Here's Washington. The Warriors pull it in. Outside Kaminga. Thompson passes to Green. Back to Thompson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, Thompson goes inside and forces the issue with the D and gets the foul he was looking for. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Dallas. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. The Mavericks have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Pass to Irving from behind the arc. And they'll get another chance. Second chance shot. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Well, you've got to be careful and skillful in how you guard Irving. I mean, he's really adept at drawing fouls. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. Hard to keep up with Irvin. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, always attacking. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Adjustments are part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And now a moment for the 2K leaderboards, the top scoring teams in the NBA. The Mavericks second. They've been having a great season on the offensive end of the floor. It never takes this team long to put big points up on the board. Curry against Doncic. 
Thompson right side. The kick out to Wiggins. Sends it home from three-point land. Wiggins got six points. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Doncic passes to Irving. Now here's Green. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Now here's Irving. Coming off a 22-point game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. And he did his part from the line. Drew fouls and made them count. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Green against Wiggins. 13 feet out. Nice jump shot. Give him eight points now. Tell you what, for a small forward, Wiggins is strong inside of me. And only growing in confidence, too. That's scary for the opposition. Now here's Green. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Doncic. The three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got five assists in the game. And they've got the D really. A full three-point attack right off the tip. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Now here's Curry. And it's good. Two points. Curry. You know, at close range, Curry has a plethora of shots. You simply can't allow him to get those looks. Doncic against Curry. The three is up. Offensive rebound. And it's hammered home by Green. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Wiggins, no good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Irving, no good. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Here's Kuminga. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Wiggins against Green. Pass to Washington. Now here's Irving. He's covered closely. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. On the wing, Thompson fires the three, drills it from deep. Thompson's got six. With perfect mechanics, too. Clay Thompson's jumper is a work of art, an all-time shooter. Outside Irving. Pass to Washington. No good on the shot. So Golden State will take it the other way. Green finds Curry. Now here's Thompson. He's guarded by Washington. Doncic against Curry. Now here's Green. Tightly guarded. Here's Kaminga. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got five rebounds tonight. And he lobs it up top. And the dunk by Gafford. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with puns blazing. Golden State calls timeout. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. All he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Golden State has gone two for three from outside the arc. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. And here's Wiggins. To the right side. Puts up a three. Ball can't get it to go. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul. 
he didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Here's Gafford, right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Irving against Green, the three from Washington. And good, coming on the assist by Irving. And the Mavericks lead by 13. Wiggins outside, back to Paul. Pass to Thompson, from deep three-point range, drops in the three. Thompson's got nine points. You know, not every player can make that kind of a pass. I mean, Paul makes it look easy, but it takes really tremendous vision and timing to execute that. Back to Doncic. Shoots over Paul. Again, the Mavericks. Good for two more. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Great open look there. He's got 12. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Golden State has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Doncic against Green. Wiggins outside. Shoots a fadeaway. That one, no good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. That's about as good a job you can do as a defender. Affect the shot and grab and secure the rebound. No good on the three. The Mavericks leading. Here's Irving. He's got 16. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. You know, his job is really to carry the load offensively, and that's exactly what Irving is doing tonight. Thompson attacking over Irving. The kick out to Paul. Over Doncic. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. Kyrie Irving has been on display for Dallas with four three-pointers in the quarter alone, proving he's a threat at the arc. Oh, uh, you know what time it is, man, man. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Well, guys, we've seen a confident-looking Mavericks team out there. Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong. And they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. Golden State has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Josh Green out there with P.J. Washington. Then it's Daniel Gafford. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Doncic in at the one. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. They get it back. Green. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Dallas has gone six of nine from three-point range. Green, the pass to Gafford. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got six assists now in the game. Thompson outside. Paul against Doncic. Paul passes to Kaminga. Outside Paul. Five to shoot. Wide open look. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Paul's got his first bucket in this one. Pass to Green. Here's Irving. Hires the three. Hold in by Paul. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Thompson with it. Down low. Here's Green. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Clark, you've got your good players in the league. But then there's that group that is in that elite category. 
What type of player commands that kind of respect? Well, I think it's a guy who shows up every day but produce and produces at a high level. I think you probably tip your hat to scores in that case, but there's a lot of respect and cachet given to outstanding defenders. Anybody that's excellent consistently, I think, gets a level of respect that's special. And he makes a first. Yeah, in terms of winners in NBA history, few have the resume of Draymond Green. And both free throws good for Green. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Doncic passes to Irving. Washington outside. Outside, Green. Goes back up. And it's Washington missing. The Warriors have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. And the Warriors miss again. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Warriors foul. Number two. First personal foul. First team foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Josh Green. Shooting two. Taking two shots. First one falls. And both free throws good for Green. Golden State has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Outside Paul. Pass to Kaminga. Thompson outside. Six on the shot clock. Back to Kaminga. From the arc. Knocks down the long J. Kaminga's got five points. We highlight Thompson's scoring often. But right there, just a great read to get it to the open teammate. Green up top. Outside Irving. Shoots over Kaminga. And that one's good. Irving. Irving's got 20 points. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Outside Paul. On the wing, Thompson. Over Green. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Green. 14 points for him. And, you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Irving, no good. A bunch of threes for him in this first quarter. A bunch of threes for him in the first quarter. But he's made zero here in the second period. It's a three-on-three three fast break. Green, the pass to Doncic. Now Gafford. He's watched by Kaminga. Green against Paul. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul of the game. And the Mavericks making a change here. Powell's checked in. Ball against Doncic. On the wing, Irving. From downtown. And counted. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. You know, that goes back, I think, to playing with LeBron in their Cleveland time out, time out. days. Kyrie learned how to operate without the ball, son. Golden State calls timeout. 
and the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Grant, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Doncic finds green. Three-pointer, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Thompson. Now Kaminga. Here's Green, guarded by Doncic. Six to shoot. They get it back. He's guarded by Irving. The three from Thompson. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. Doncic against Green. Now, here's Green. He's closely guarded. Here's Washington. Kaminga pulls it in. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. Irving, the pass to Washington. It's rebounded by Golden State. Kaminga's got four rebounds now. To the middle. Here's Green. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. P.J. Washington picks one up. What offensive effort from Green. Backing off the shot isn't even a consideration for him. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Warriors making a switch here. And he can't hit the second. Showing more aggression here in the second quarter. He's seeking contact and working himself to the line. Here's Irving. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Irving's got seven now in this quarter. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Pass to Curry. Back to green. And there's a three-second violation. Dallas has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Doncic finds Powell. Washington with the ball. Doncic outside. Launches a three. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Back to Curry. Pass to Paul. This one for three. Mavericks with a rebound. Green's got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Irving. The three. Rebounded by Chris Paul. Thompson with it. He's guarded by Irving. 
Thompson outside. Over Irving. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson's got 16 points now. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Powell passes to Washington. Banked it in off the glass. He has six. Boy, lock into that focus from Washington there. Love the body control, too. Excellent. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Paul finds Looney. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Back to Green. It's Powell on the wing. Outside, Green. With the fadeaway. Here's Doncic. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Doncic has got five points now in the quarter. Paul passes to Looney. Pass to Thompson. Three-pointer. Nails it from beyond the arc. Thompson's got 19 points. You expect this from an elite scorer like Thompson. Let's just hope he can maintain this rhythm. Doncic, no good. Golden State has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Green. Again, the Green. Warriors Green. score. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Irving. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. I like how Irvin also keeps the defense guessing, keeps them off balance, and is so crafty and creative around the basket. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. And the Mavericks with some changes. Hardaway's checked in for Green. And it's Hardy in for Luka Doncic. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. Both free throws good from Irving. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Looney passes to Paul. And the Warriors with another three. You know, going back to his rookie season in 2006, Paul shot under 30% from deep. It's amazing how much he's improved that part of his game. Irving, the pass to Powell. Here's Hardy. He's guarded by Paul. And stolen by Paul. And here's the fast break. One forty-four left in the first half. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And you know, that's going to be free throw. I mean, the length and quickness of Wiggins forcing the defender's hand there. Andrew Wiggins taking two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Hardy. He's coming off a 13-point game against Memphis. Outside Hardaway. Irving up top. Let's it fly. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Irving's got 29. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Up top, Wiggins. Plenty of space. And he knocks the jumper down. 
Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter, and I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Pass to Irving. Here's Hardy. He's guarded by Paul. Paul with a steal. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Now here's Wiggins. Fires the three. Powell pulls it in. Here's Hardy. He's guarded by Paul. Outside Hardaway. 34 seconds left in the first half. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Throws it down. And the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. That one belongs to Wiggins. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. First personal, fourth team foul. At the line for Dallas, Dwight Powell. One shot. One shot. Ooh, that one misses for Powell. The length and mobility of, of Powell is, is really impressive. He's a solid big guy who I think continues just to get better at both ends. Three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And it's Irving missing. Looney up top. Powell covers. Here's Paul. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Chris Paul, one of the best foul shooters in the history of, of the NBA. I mean, he's not a guy you want to send to the line. At the line for two. And he drops it first. Chris Paul sets a fantastic example for younger players. I mean, CP3 defines what it means to be a pro. Good on both. Here's Irving. Good. He hits the jumper. Irving's got 31 points. Well, Irving can shoot it with little warning. I mean, he's just that quick. No time to contest if you're not there before the shot. Kyrie Irving has been on display for Dallas. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Kyrie Irving was red hot to start the first. He ended up with 31 points, three rebounds, and two assists. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, create high percentage looks. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half. With the D worried about the post game. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Well, it's been a big night for the guys off the bench so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we're going to expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usual tonight. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. This second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the floor for the Warriors. They've got Draymond Green, Chris Paul out there with Stephen Curry. Then there's Jonathan Kaminga, and it's Wiggins in a small forward. And too long on the shot. The Mavericks leading. 
Here's Irving. Gets himself open and drills it. Irving's got 33 points. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Shot is good by Curry. Curry. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. And he's probably knocking it down, too. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got three assists tonight. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Back to Curry. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Yeah, fearless play from Curry inside. Going up against tough defense and getting fouled while shooting. Curry taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Curry. You never really get tired of watching Curry do his thing. The stroke on his shot is such a thing of beauty. And when he's dialed in, his offensive performances are just tremendous. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Chris Paul. He gets them both. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Pass to Irving. And here's Doncic. Now Irving. 33 points for him. Washington's shot is good. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Now here's Curry. Guarded by Doncic. Pass to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's hammered home by Green. I love the show of force by Green. Putting the defense on notice with the jam. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Outside Green. Doncic outside. From 12 feet, another one falls for Dallas. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. Pass to Wiggins. Now Green. Thompson outside. Here's Curry. Mavericks with a rebound. Doncic has got four rebounds now. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. And you know, that's their first miss after knocking down four in a row to start the half. Back to Kaminga. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Dallas has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Green. Back to Doncic. Rebounded by Green. Green's got eight rebounds in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Now Wiggins launches it. Gafford grabs the miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Doncic outside. Pass to Green. And he drives in. Washington with the ball. Shoots over Wiggins. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one belongs to Wiggins. Savvy play that time on the part of Washington. Got his man in an awkward position. And then drew the foul. Two shots. First free throw is good. So 
So one for two that time at the stripe. The Warriors have got just two of six in the second half. And he lobs it up to the rim. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. And the Warriors making a switch here. Jackson Davis. The Warriors trailing. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Irving. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Here's Wiggins. 12 points for him. Pass to Kaminga. Money from the wing. Jonathan Kaminga. Kaminga's gotten his third basket of the night. Staying alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an open spot. Passes right on the money. Now Green. Irving with it. A shot from the high post. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his seventh assist here tonight. Golden State calls timeout. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Thompson passes to Curry. Outside Kaminga. The three is up. Sinks the tray. Kaminga's got five points in the quarter. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Pass to Green. Back to Doncic. And he's going for the oop here. And the dunk by Gafford. When you play with Luka now, Doncic, he's ready to find you if you're open. So you've got to be ready to receive. Curry passes to Thompson. Here's Wiggins. Back to Thompson. Wiggins outside. Just five to shoot. Over green. Wiggins no good. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Green against Wiggins. Over Green. That doesn't go either for Wiggins. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They need his offense to come around. And the Warriors making a switch here. For the Warriors. Number two. Outside Curry. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Washington finds Gafford. From deep, here's Doncic. Connects again from distance. And all season long has been nothing but money from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. The shot's good. The size and strength of Thompson helping him there. Able to absorb the hit very well. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. 
Jones, he's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Green. And Golden State also making a switch. Looney's checked in. Dallas has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Now here's Gafford. He's got six. Here's Doncic. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Thompson's got four rebounds now. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Dallas. Yeah, what stood out to me was Super their two. passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. And I've also noticed how opportunistic they've been off turnover, doing a really good job taking advantage of the opponent's mistakes. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Second free throw is good. The Mavericks have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Gafford. And here's Doncic. He's covered by Curry. Again the miss by the Mavericks. The Warriors have gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. From deep. Mavericks with a rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Here's Hardy beyond the arc. Here's Gafford. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Daniel Gafford taking two shots. That free throw good from Gafford. Both free throws good from Gafford. Golden State has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Curry against Doncic. Right wing. Shoots. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Pass to Hardy. Now Hardaway. Doncic up top. Fires it. Dallas no good that time either. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Curry with it. He drops it from range. Three points. And it's now only a five-point Dallas lead. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Pass to Gafford. Doncic outside. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Offline with a three. Golden State has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Curry finds Thompson. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. Back to Thompson. From deep. 
He can't get that one to fall. And it's Dallas the other way. Doncic outside. Steps back and shoots. And the shot goes. Doncic has got nine points now in the second half. Doncic doesn't give the mid-range a lot of love, but he has the touch to knock it down from there. Curry from deep three-point land. He buries it from three. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Back to Doncic. We've got 123 left in the third. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Warrior call. Golden State has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Pass to Curry. 103 left in the third quarter here. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Now Hardaway. Defended by Thompson. Thompson with a steal. This for the tie. Score it. 13 Play. shots, nine makes. Solid. And a sly play from Thompson. I mean, he's too quick. No room for distractions when he's guarding you. Oh, deflected. Curry against Jones. Left side Curry. Thompson outside. Five on the clock. Back to Curry for the lead. Golden State with the rebound. Jackson Davis. First personal foul. Second team foul. Warriors substitution. Draymond Green. Chris Paul. Dallas has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Here's Hardy. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Doncic. Shoots over Paul. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Doncic has got 11 points in the quarter. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. The Mavericks on top, leading by just two. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. 84. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. All right, fans. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. They've got Hardy, P.J. Washington out there with Tim Hardaway. Then it's Luka Doncic, and it's Gafford in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Daniel Gafford. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Here's Paul. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. The three ball. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Washington's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. 
He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Hall passes to Wiggins. Puts it up from 12. Another shot. Counted, and the foul. P.J. Washington picks one up. It's just an important bucket down the stretch. This is when his focus becomes razor sharp. Understands his role, does his job, and he did it right there. The timing couldn't have been better. Free throw, no good. Here's Wiggins. Nails the baby Andrew hook. Wiggins. Oh, I like that effort from Andrew Wiggins there. Doing a nice job on the offensive glass. Outside, Green. Irving against Curry. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul. Yeah, and you never want to let foul. shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And, you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them. So they just kept doing it. And he makes the first. Both free throws good from Irving. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Paul passes to Wiggins. Paul finds Curry. Back to Paul. Puts up a three. The Mavericks pull it in. Washington's got a rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Hits the trifecta. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. Back to Doncic. Gafford with the ball. To the inside. Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. From the strike, Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got rebound number 11. Here's Irving. Carries it from about 10 feet away. Irving's got 41. You know, Irving is deadly from mid-range and really embraces that shot. He doesn't shy away from it. And I think he can give opponents a lot of problems because of it. Here's Kaminga. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Assisted. Paul's Chris got Paul. five assists in the game. Looks like he's shooting with a lot more confidence here in the second half. Pass to Green from outside the arc. Nails it from three. Green's got five points now in the quarter. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Here's Kuminga. The shot won't fall. And it's Dallas the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Inside. It's stolen by Green. 
Wiggins with it. Green picks him up. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. What a play from Wiggins. Fantastic in out picking the defense off the dribble. Bang! Outside, Green. Paul against Doncic. Throws it up high. Here's Curry. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Curry's got 15 points in just the second half. Ball against Doncic. The three. Kaminga pulls it in. Kaminga's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Wiggins against Gafford. Wiggins, no good. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Irving finds Gafford. Here's Green. No good there. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Paul can't get it to go. The Mavericks have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Here's Irving. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Golden State has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. From down in the low post, he goes. And the Warriors lead by three. Well, that was quality defense, but Wiggins showing off tremendous athleticism, able to overcome that defense. And Dallas calls time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And the Warriors making a switch here. Moody's checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. And with every possession being critical, he was clear with his team. Quote, this is what we prepared for. Keep your focus, stay in the moment, and execute. He believes that's the path to victory, guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Washington against Kaminga. And he was camped in the three, lane there. He gets a three-second call. Golden State ball. The Warriors have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Tries a 10 footer. That's good on the jumper. And now a five point Warrior lead. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. Back to Doncic. It's stolen by Curry. Pass to Kaminga. That's tipped. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. The NBA playing loose can help you and hurt you. They really need to tighten it up. Wiggins against Green. Clock at six. Back to Irving. A shot to stop the drought. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got assist number eight now on the night. Pass to Moody. Wiggins outside. Green against Wiggins. Now Doncic. Doncic is doubled. Irving for three. And the Mavericks, another three. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. And out of bounds, Dallas will have it. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Thompson, he's checked in to the Warriors. Mavericks trailing. Pass to Washington. Back to Doncic. On the take. Over Curry. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. 
He is comfortable putting his head down and attacking. Doncic is unfazed, unflappable, even against beastly defenders. tied up with that one. Luka Doncic is a superstar in this league and he continues to build on what is going to be some kind of resume when it's all said and done. Has every tool that you need to have to be an MVP one day. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Golden State has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Thompson. Three-pointer. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. Ten of 14 from the field. This guy is simply having a great game from outside. To the middle. Here's Washington. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. You know, Washington brings terrific strength to his inside game. He plays with quite a bit of force and fought his way into that shot. Irving against Thompson. And it's going to be a three-second call. For Dallas, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Washington outside. Pass to Irving. Outside. Green. Who poked away. Shot clock at five. And that one drops. And the Mavericks lead by two. A nice rhythm to his game here late. He's hit three out of four this quarter. Looking to put him over the top. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, the screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 12-3 run. And he's going for the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Pass to Curry. From downtown. And the Warriors get it back. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Stolen by Gafford. Irving with it. Now guarded by Curry. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one belongs to Wiggins. 14 foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Kyrie Irving at the line for two. Free throw good from Irving. Both shots good from the strike. Golden State has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Here's Curry. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. And Steph relishes taking key shots. It's what he's out there to do. Outside Irving. Pass to Green. Doncic outside. Outside Irving. Shot clock at six. Fades. The rebound by Klay Thompson. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You've got to be able to hit the easy ones. Now 
Now here's Green. Jacks up a three, and he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. Boy, an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness, impressive. Here's Curry. We've got 123 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, got a piece of it. Irving with it. Now guarded by Curry. The pull-up J. Oh, connects again. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. The Warriors trailing. Here's Curry. Oh, they find the hot hand. You can count it. He's 10 for 14 now. And I'll tell you, we see Curry working on his balance all the time. Well, I'll tell you what, it paid off on that challenging play. Back to Doncic. Just four to shoot. Here's Green. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. They double team Thompson. Takes a three. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. And you can trust Curry in these moments. The pressure doesn't affect his shooting ability, and he knows how to deliver. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Since in an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're behind by six. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch. Just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Curry. That one is off. Good D by Doncic. And an intentional foul right there. Fourth personal foul. Team is in the middle. At the line for Dallas. P.J. Washington. Taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's an eight-point ball game. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They trail by eight. 20 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. You know, maybe working on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future. Now here's Curry, guarded closely. Pass to Payton. Let's it go from deep. And connects from downtown. 
Eight seconds left in the final quarter. And so they foul intentionally. First personal foul. At the line for Dallas. At the line for two. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. And the Warriors with possession here. Wiggins, left side. There's the three, and it's good. It's Assisting good. on the play was Curry. Three. Slain and Lane all comers. Wiggins with the confidence to put the team on his back when it matters most. And Dallas calls time here. They're leading by four. Only two seconds left in the fourth quarter. in a tight game. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and...